dear Bidemi. You must be surprised I know your name. Yes, despite the heights, I found out all the same, yet I write this absent smile. For I know at least one way better to tell you I have broken your silent fetters. You see, when I saw you that first day, I stepped forward, no ploy. But while you smiled at my words, you were silent, quiet, really coy. For nights after that, I stayed at moons and woke up in the late afternoons. I had a strange fever. It took some courage to go to your house, sit in your parlor, and stammer my greetings to your father. But when I staggered home that day, my heart was bleeding like the vanquished in Rome. For your father had told me you could not hear my words, nor listen to my hard thoughts, that you only decipher the golden sounds of silence. Then he patted me on the back and sent me home. I have learned a lot ever since, for I refused to let this love die, starved by inability to communicate day after day I sat in that sign language class. Listen as they taught the words, brother, sister, friend. Yet this was what not I needed. I knew this was something pure, new. When finally they learned that sentence on which my entire being rested, I ran out of the class. I flew down the streets practicing the words lest they leave my fingers. I floated up the stairs to your house, only to be hit by the huge padlock in front of your door. No forwarding address, no further information. The cosmos conspired to take you away that very day. I have been knocking ever since. Asked your neighbors a million times. I have finally decided to do that, which I swore never to do. I have written you. Yet these words remain too golden for paper and ink, so I shall keep them till if ever you return. But if you can, look closely at the paper as I say, I'll always love you. Thank you.